Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally here. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. After four long years since Remake came out. As an old school Final Fantasy fan, I am beyond excited for this. I hope this game is good. If you guys haven't seen my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough, be sure to check it out. I've got the entire thing, the entire unedited thing on this channel. So that's like 40 hours of content. I actually never published my Final Fantasy 7 remake playthrough from four years ago. I think I have the first video on YouTube, maybe the first seven or eight hours, but I haven't published the rest. I actually do have the videos. Anyways, hit that thumbs up, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you're playing this game. Uh, get yourself comfortable, grab some snacks, grab a brewski, kick back, because we are about to sink into this game right now. All right. This video will be probably mostly unedited, you guys. So it's going to be a real cozy video. Additional content has been downloaded. Go to the menu and check it out. Bonuses. Bonus items are offered as thanks of doing stuff. What does this say? Koopo Charm and Survival Set for completing the Nibelheim portion. I did that. What up? Check save data. Check it. Give me my rewards, biatch. Yeah! Claim your Leviathan summoning materia. Ramu summoning materia. You're saying I start the game with both Ramu and Leviathan? Because that's insane. Look at this difficulty setting. They have easy, normal, and dynamic. Dynamic says enemy difficulty adjusts automatically based on your skill level. Select this if you love the thrill of the fight. Hell yeah, let's go. Can we take one quick moment, you guys? Let me, let me just say something real quick. I'd like to put something out there. It makes me so sad nowadays to see content creators and streamers and people in general really rushing through these games. I just saw a tweet like before booting this up, I saw a tweet from somebody that said they were already 60 hours into this game. And I'm just like, why would you want to rush through it that fast? It'll probably take me months to get through this. Now, I understand the content creator grind, the first one to get to the end. In the end game content, you get the most views. Trust me, I understand that more than anybody, but like... That, that shit makes me sad, and for this game, honestly, I'ma take my time, I'ma enjoy every minute of this. And with that said, let's do this. I already did this, man. I already checked. I already checked, man. Default. Let's go. Speaker settings. Can you hear that? I'm actually gonna turn this off because it might mess up the recording. I don't want the mic to pick up controller sound. Dynamic. Nice, nice. Active battle. Yes. Active is harder, right? Yes. Let's fuck it. Shh. It's starting. I'm here on the Midgar Express. Hell yeah. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... <sighs> The fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group. Holy shit. Avalanche. That's insane. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This game is gonna be nuts.
Oh, it's gonna be nuts, my friends. Yo, that's what's up. It's gonna be hard not to do a little bit of editing on this video because like it's the cutscenes and stuff. You know, I don't know, we'll see. Now what is going on here? They're not wasting any time giving us Zack. So I'm really confused. Are there two clouds now? Because that's a different cloud than the one who just left Midgar, right? I guess we'll find out. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall This is crazy. I feel like I'm playing Crisis Core. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I found another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. You guys probably don't know this, but I actually did play Crisis Core. And I didn't post any videos because I'm stupid, but I did play it. Whoa. Back over here. Barrett? The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. What? Tifa? Everybody's dead? Quick, get the camera off them. Red 13? No! Come on. This way. Say it ain't so. This game's trippy, dude. There's like lots of weird alternate realities going on. I have no idea what to expect with these new timelines and with Zack being here. So strange. Oh, I, I remember her vaguely. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. Just throws him on her. What was her name? Kyrie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what she was, but I do re remember her a little bit. Straight up ditched Cloud. He's alive? I thought they were all dead. Were they faking? You start the game playing as Zack? That's crazy to me. That's so crazy. Okay, well, shit. Holy moly. Wow. Where do we go? Am I blind? Oh, I thought it was walled off. What is this? This is very exciting, you guys. <laughs> call, call me a nerd. Call me a weeb. Damn straight. Now I gotta remember how to play the game. Let's see, you can dodge and block. I forgot how to dodge. 
fucking flame throat here. Ow, I don't think I can die. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me kill this guy, actually. Fuck this guy. Bitch. All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta remember all the buttons. Holy shit. Come on, let's get it. Papa squat, Zach. You know you want to. Bitch. Okay, circle for the dodge, R1 for block. Yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Mm, 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 your ship job. Hey, there's Aerith. I'm confused. What is even going on? Weren't we out of Midgar? at the end of the last one. And now we're like all dead inside of Midgar. Where's the ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. Shut the hell up. Get the ancient. This is so messed up. All of it. I agree. What the hell's going on? Very reminiscent of when she dies in the original. Wait, is she dead? What the fuck is going on? This is crazy. <laughs> I am so confused. And they freaking killed her. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. Well, this game's already trippy as hell. It started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission was separate. <laughs> I couldn't believe So this is leading into the Nibelheim chapter. Which is what the demo was, but we beat the demo, so I think it's gonna skip Nibelheim. It's I really coming down. I think. I guess we're about to find out. Feeling any better? This is the same as the demo, right? Hold on, hold on. Sure don't look it. Pretty sure. If you guys haven't seen my demo video, it's up on this channel. Never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Yeah, this is the same. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. All right, let me skip this and see what happens. If you guys haven't seen the Nibelheim demo, be sure to check it out. Dude, straight up. I wonder if they're gonna make me do it again. It said you were supposed to be able to skip it. So we'll we'll see what happens here. Skip. This is like uh the when they're in calm, right? And Cloud's telling the story. Yeah, main menu. Okay, so. Yup, now we're in Nibelheim. Question is, can we skip Nibelheim? 
I don't see the option anywhere. I'm very confused. What's checkpoint? No, you don't want to do that. DLC slash bonuses. You must finish the flashback to claim your shit. Options. I don't see the option. I might have to do this again. If I do have to do this again, I'll, I'll cut it out of this video. Most likely. For the people who have already seen it. Dude, I think my game is messed up and it's not even giving me the option to skip Nibelheim. Because I actually looked it up and I saw that some people... A prompt came up and said, hey, do you want to skip Nibelheim? But for me, there's no prompt at all. No prompt. No prompt at all. Okay, so I opened the demo and then came back to Rebirth, did bonuses again, and now it says it's confirming my demo data. Claim your stuff. You may now skip this portion of the main scenario. Now, you guys know I already did this. So that's a little bit sus, right? Um, you know, it's a little bit sus. I'm going to start a new game. <laughs> that's right, a brand new game. All right, I watched a video. The skip option is supposed to appear after this cutscene, like right here. There it is. Skip to the village. Yes. Dude, I swear to you guys, that did not pop up the first time. I have the video evidence to prove it. God damn, that is crazy. And then they don't give you the option to skip it if you miss it or whatever. So I legit think my game just bugged out. I don't know. That's crazy. But we're, we are here, dudes. We are here. Let's go. Me personally, would have just let him go. <laughs> it was at this moment Cloud realized he fucked up. So iconic. He doesn't kill him though. Does not kill him. All right, I'll catch you later, Sephiroth. You, you take care. All right. I followed Sephiroth. All so, um, again, if you guys want to see the rest of that cutscene, check out my demo video. We have seen that already. Um, I did watch that Sephiroth cutscene. I didn't notice anything different, but it was epic, so I wanted to watch it again. And now this is all new and stuff here. That's the last thing I remember. Yeah. The rest is a blank. Fuck yeah. The hell it is? What happened? It the the hell news. it is. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does wow, sounds like real life. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> what I meant was, does that make me a dumbass? That's great. I love the dialogue already. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <laughs> Aerith is unbothered. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. 
feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Oh, okay. This is taking an unexpected turn. Let's get you back to the room. Okay. The boys are getting excited now. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? All right, well, oh, Red 13 was there the whole time? They've been holding out on me. Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. See dreams. See it tomorrow. This is great. I don't even think we got to, did we get to use Red 13 in the last game? Maybe for like a brief little bit at the end? Can't remember. Hey, Aerith, you awake? Barely. Why? Why the lights on, man? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Spoiler alert, it was Zack. Oh my god. There's some serious, like, funny business going on there, by the way. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dude, Bear had to sleep in a chair. That's crazy. Cloud, you up? Hot damn, man. The Inn at Calm. Can I talk to anybody? Yo, Bear, what's up, man? How you sleeping like that? That is remarkable, dude. I don't know how you pull that off. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So... Can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Where are we going, Tifa? Hold on, I gotta make a pit stop. Oh, just kidding, the door's locked. <laughs> Never mind. You know that I killed her. Jump scare. Sephiroth killed Tifa when he, like, impaled her, right, in the reactor. That's true. I don't remember how they explained that in the original game. Wow, I am inside the village of Calm. Soak it in, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. You remember that little town from that little old game from 1997? Well, this is it. Do you think Midgar's over there? I can't wait to go to the Chocobo farm. That should be like not far from here. Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. 
Ja. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I'm having this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? They didn't show it. After you left, Zongan found me. That has to be He's like... The one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying... I mean, the only area of her body I can't see wasn't just normally There's the doctor who is like... On me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. She, she took a sword? They were there for me then. In, like, her solar where plexus? you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? Yo, Tifa, chill. Five years. Tifa, chill, dog. You know, I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. So he's talking about when he was with Soldier. Sorry, I just need some space. And he doesn't want to tell her about his time in Soldier. I'm trying to remember all the details. But why wouldn't he tell her? Like, why does he care? If that is what it is, why does he care about protecting Soldier? Or Shinra or whatever? Well, all these questions will be answered eventually, either by you guys in the comments <laughs> or by me finding out eventually. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Damn, things are rough with uh, Tifa here, man. I think things are rough. Yo, Tifa, give me another chance. I'm sorry. I give me another chance. Oh, well. At least we've got our best bro, Barrett. You two fight. Yeah. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Man, I fucking love Barrett. Night. Tomorrow is another day. I'm excited to get to know Red 13 more. Also known as Nanaki. Oh, that's right. You think I didn't know his name? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm wearing a fucking Shinra hat. Do not challenge my nerdiness. Even though I don't remember most of the main plot points. <laughs> I definitely remember Red 13's real name, so... <laughs> Just saying. Hmm, well, okay guys, we are um, officially, like, kind of doing stuff now. Maybe not. Just kidding. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Queen's blood starter deck. Card game. Find other players around the world and challenge them. Wait, you can play people online? They have a card game? Dude, I loved the card game in Final Fantasy VIII. Loved it. This one's probably nothing like that, but I really liked that one. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay. A Cactor, obviously. Um, sure, we'll put Cactor there. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power, while the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. 
I'm absolutely gonna remember that. 100%. Place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Oh, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, wait. What's making me use this one? Which means... I gotta put it, like, right here or something. When one of your card's position tiles overlaps with a position you control, the position rises in rank. As there are two pawns on that tile now, the position is rank 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank. Um, which is denoted by the number of whatever is in the top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you have to raise the rank of your positions. Ah, that's why I couldn't place the guy I wanted to. Oh, shit. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card on it. Don't mind if I do. When one of your card's positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position is yours. However, claiming a position will not raise its rank. Ooh, okay, okay. You can keep track of who's winning a lane by looking at the points total on each side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, while ones on the right represent your opponents. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more lanes than your opponent. If you cannot press a card, you can pass with the triangle. You guys might not be able to see all the text because my fit, my face cam will probably be in the way. So I apologize for that. All right, let's attack. Let's throw down a Levy Kron. Is he gonna attack that guy? I guess not. What do I do? I got a gargant, gargantor, whatever. Um, hmm, let me try. I'm gonna put him right there. That I got to claim the bottom two rows. So do we actually hurt each other, or do we just just uh, claim shit? Whoa, magic pot. This guy's epic. Hmm. Shit. I could put him here. Apparently, that's decent. I'll put him here, because I got plus two on both those cactars. -na 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 -na. Crystalline crab. Hmm. Could put him here, or here. Hmm. -na 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 -na. Well, I mean, crystalline crab seems pretty good. He makes that, that cactar really strong. I'm losing the bottom lane, but I'm winning the top two lanes. That is what's going on, right? Okay, what happens now? All the spots are full? Triangle to end match? Is that what we want? I guess so. But do I win? Will I win? Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with the higher score in a lane has their power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, if it's less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. So we won top two lanes and lost bottom lane. Which means we should have won, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what's up. That concludes the tutorial. You can add more cards by winning them off other players or purchasing booster packs from shops. Okay. I can't tell yet if that is a fun card game or not. I hope it is, because I will definitely play it if it's good. Oh, I can finally go into Aerith and Tifa's room, you guys. Oh, oh yeah, I can jump on the bed. Check this out. Oh, okay. Nope, never mind. Can't do that. Camera's kind of zoomed in here. It's kind of like... Ridiculous. I wonder if you can zoom out a little bit. Let me check. System, options, camera, distance out of battle. Let me try this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit in battle too. Okay, yeah, I see the difference. Oh, so much better, dude. So much better. It was so hella zoomed in. This is, uh, 
way better. Have I been here? Oh, no, no, no. I want to go up here. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I see the, uh... I see the exclamation point on the map, but I think that it's inside the house. I can't tell because of the different levels. I think I just need to go downstairs. Where's the downstairs? Oh, shit. I walked past it. Damn it. Damn it, you guys. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Sup? Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Perhaps okay. the arms dealer is in order. Get oh, jeez. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over. Folios? The first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. I do not remember what a folio is. All right. All right. All right. Finally. Yo, what's up, dog? Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. God damn, I love Red 13 already. So, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm. Well, looks got a backbone. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, increasing your party level. The higher the level is, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Oh, the music! Fuck. Ah. Oh. I want a... What do you want? You... Queen's blood? Crybaby Ned? Fuck yeah, man. I'll play. I'm gonna fuck him up. I ain't taking it easy. Oh, I gotta build a deck? Oh. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Are these decks that I have? Do I have any of that... Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I think I don't have any cards that aren't in my deck, I think. Alright. Let's go. Now that I'm a pro at Queen's Blood, if you don't like her, some of your cards, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. You cannot play high rank cards right away. It's often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Interesting. Oh, I see. You could, like, throw away shitty cards. Okay, I'll just... I'll re-roll one card. All right, I'm up first. Let's go. So, I can't, oh, I can't play him. Oh, I could do this, though. I don't really get the position stuff on this. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Never mind. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Put him here. There's kind of a similar concept between this and the Final Fantasy VIII card game where you're like watching the numbers and the direction of the numbers and stuff. So it is kind of similar in that way. Okay, let me try this right here. I think that red dot on the Moo card is a bad thing. 
I think. I don't think you want, or is it? Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's not, because this guy has all red. And maybe it's a good thing. Raise the power of an allied cards by one while this card is in play. Oh shit, see the cards have abilities too. That's pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. Boom! That's clutch. All right, what can we do here? Still can't play the magic thing. I need a level three. Hmm. Could do this, that could be a good play. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, this right here. Oh shit, he's getting beefy. Hmm. Okay, let me try. If I do this, I could lay a magic pot later. I do, I would love to play that magic pot. That would be very nice. Hmm. Which one should I do, you guys? Maybe I'll do this so I can play a magic pot later. I don't know if that's the move. I would love to have the magic pot in the middle. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best spot for the magic pot. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to get the magic pot in the middle if I can. He might, he's probably gonna steal it though. He passed? What a bitch. Hmm, if I put him here, he's not gonna mat uh, power up my other guys. Lame. He passed again. I'm putting my magic pot right there. I think he's toast. I don't think he has any more cards. So I guess I'll just play. All right, so that ends the match. I don't know if there's anything else we can do after we fill up all the spots. He actually did pretty good overall. I only beat him by two points. That was kind of close. Oh, I got a crystalline crab. Oh boy. I like how Cloud's sword was in this little this little uh sword holder. You look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. Yeah, yeah, Cloud, have a good cry. It'll make you feel better, man. Okay, where are we going, folks? What is the, um, hold on, the map button? There we go. Destination right here. I played this guy. I think that's another card battle down there. And then there's main scenario. These are both main scenario. Wait, what am I supposed to- oh, Tifa? Dude, she is pissed. Look at that little face above her. That little emoji. Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. Sup. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Any other Mako tank? The place I made the promise to you? Oh! Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. I'm winning points, you guys. I'm winning points. With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Oh, he remembers the dress color? Oh my god. Cloud, you dirty dog. Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies, and strength of those bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud, as indicated by the emoji. She's still lukewarm. Lukewarm. So still does not have a happy face. Dum dum. Da 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 da. Music's great. Oh, here's Aerith. Uh huh. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. Don't bust my so balls, Aerith. Why, waiting for you, of course. You have. 
got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Oh, Aerith. If I have to, sure, sure, Aerith. Let's. Sure. Let's. Let's. For real? Awesome. Dude, Tifa's gonna be pissed. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Oh my God, Tifa's gonna be pissed. This is not good. <laughs> Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Sup? Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points at the bookstore to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Unlocking skill cores in a character's folio increases their stats or teaches them new abilities. Oh, the skill tree. I see. Okay, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to pick Firework Blade, which is like an Aerith combo move. Or, oh no, I guess I got to get it. Yeah, that's cool. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available. All right, this is pretty straightforward. It's very that's similar to other Final now. Fantasy games. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. Believe you me. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Believe you me. I gotta start talking like that. Dun -dun. Where are we going, boys? There's card games all over town. Shit. I won't play too many card games, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to watch the card games as much. Am I supposed to talk talk to Tifa still? Oh no, other side. Something like there's something like right here, according to the map. Unless it's just saying I need to do something in this area. I already talked to Tifa. Let me go do the other thing first. I'm not sure how to get there really though. The rusty arrow. Yo, Barrett! First one's on me. First one will taste good. No time soon, then. Dude, I am sweet talking everybody. Her buddies want to go on a date with Cloud in the gold saucer. All right, well, I found Barrett, but I still don't know how to get to that other area. There's still main scenario shit here. Do I need to talk to Tifa again? No. Well, um, maybe this way? Chocobo! Here it is. Found it. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Damn. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. <sighs> so much saying, action. It's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. Ooh. If you like, I could show you. <sighs> I would love. Adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Changing character's weapon will not reset this level. Upgrading weapons to access their latent powers. I'm skipping the tutorial. What I tell you, that girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her. Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, your local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Oh. All right, bro. What do you got? Sleek saber. Yeah, you change weapons depending on your build, right? Something like that. We got some shit in here, you guys. Hunter's bangle, bone bracelet. We got all this stuff. How much How much money do I have? 2,000? Oh, that sucks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability. Aha, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me first go to my equipment here for Cloud. Check it out. Metal Bracer. What kind of stuff do I have here? Power Wrist Guards. Hold on, let me go to... Hold on real quick. I think I've got some uh, bonus shit. Yeah, I got some shit here. You guys, look. Um, Moogle Materia. Pot Materia. Bangle. Bracelet, Choker, Leviathan, Ramu, Kupo Charm, and Survival Set. Five potions, three mist potions, Ether, Elixir, and Cushions. Holy shit. So I have that stuff now? Yes, I do. Orchid Bracelet. Um, looks good for wizards, right? Midgar Bangle. Um, this could be... That only has one slot. Interesting. But it has good stats. Um, so I should give the Orchid one to somebody else. I can give this one to Cloud. What kind of stuff do I got here? Koopa Charm, Talisman from a Moogle, Travel the World Collecting Rare Curios. Occasionally increases the amount of materials collected and max HP plus 5%. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one restores 10% of own HP when defeating an enemy. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, I'm going to do... Reclaimant Choker on Cloud. And I apologize, you guys. I'm probably going to be in the bottom right corner. So there's going to be times where you can't read the shit. Um, cool. Okay, that's good. Let me set Materia on Cloud. Ooh, I got some shit, you guys. All right, what are we going to give? We got to figure this out. So, um, personally, I like Lightning on Cloud. Weapon skills, weapon ability damage, or max HP. Whoa. Holy shit. I like damage. But 200 HP is a lot right now. So I'm going to go 200 HP. That's pretty legit. Assess. I don't think so. Chakra. Restore your own HP and poison. That's pretty good. Um, For Cloud is my like main dog though. I think maybe HP up on Cloud. I mean Chakra would be good though. Alright. We'll try Chakra. Lightning, and then... Oh, I got room for one more, so we'll do HP up on Cloud also. Okay, Barret. We'll give Barret fire. We'll give Barret maybe assess as well. Unflinching overcharge. It makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I need to equip some shit. I need to buy some shit, actually. Tifa... Oh. God, I'm doing the wrong shit. Tifa, Tifa. What will we give you? I need to give some magic to Aerith. Oh, she has wind right now. Hmm. Okay, we'll give Tifa ice. And precision defense. Extend input timing window for precision defense. Oh, that's legit. Oh, I want to give that to, to Cloud, actually. Shit. That's hella legit. <sighs> yeah, let me give... Let me give, uh, hold on, hold on. Precision defense on Cloud. And then let's give Tifa HP up. I, well, I can't decide. I'm torn, you guys. Martial arts mastery, duration of unbridled strength, or utterly unbridled attack power boost, all sorts of crazy shit, whatever. I'll do that one, I guess. There's so much stuff in here. There's something in, oh, this is summon. Oh my god, we have summon materials too. Holy shit. Okay, we'll give Tifa... Oh my god, dude. We'll give Tifa Shiva... I got so much stuff. This is crazy. Um, What are we going to give Cloud? Chocobo and Moogle? Magic Pot. Oh my god. This is crazy, dude. Okay, we'll give Cloud Ramu to keep him... We'll be consistent with uh, summons and the magic that the character has. We'll give Aerith Magic Pot. Aerith has Prayer, Wind Materia, 
wind damage up. That's pretty good. Wind materia. And I guess we'll give her healing materia as well. Now red 13 has poison. HP up. And that is it. Everything is equipped. We'll give red 13 Leviathan. Because Leviathan is epic. And we'll check his super weapon skills. Restores HP when activating Vengeance Mode or increases Counterspin Potency. Uh, we'll try the, the Counterspin, I guess. Alright, so next up... I gotta check this shit. So we'll give um, Aerith the Orchid Bracelet. And I think... Let me check Accessories. Kupo Charm and Power Wrist Guards. All right, we'll give power wrist guards to... Koopo. We'll give Koopo Charm to Red 13. We'll give power to Tifa. <laughs> Damn, I just spent like 10 minutes doing this shit. This is crazy, you guys. And I'm not even done. I gotta talk to this guy again. Can't afford the Sleek Saber. Unless... Do I got any shit I can sell? Nope, nothing to sell. Hunter's Bangle and Bone Bracelet are both good. You know what? I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I'm gonna save my money. I'm gonna save my money. And we'll buy stuff later. A date with Aerith. Oh my god, Tifa's gonna be so pissed. Cloud! Over here! Cloud just or Aerith just has a thing for guys with pokey hair and Let's giant started, swords. Then, shall we? You could say she has a type. I still don't don't really understand what's going on with uh, Zack in the alternate reality. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Is that it? Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. Is that the main so building in Midgar? Did something happen between you and Tifa? Oh, she's probing. <laughs> Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She's fishing. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Oh shit. Is that the Turks? They're parachuting in? Damn. 80, 80. You know the drill. Fly these They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Wow, I feel so special. Let's go. I don't recognize the song. Is it new? Yo, nice pulse slide. There 
Wow, what a bro. All I know is violence, Broden. Yo, I'm on it, Brody. You're being suspicious, man. I wonder if you can fall off of this uh, platform. There are literally helicopters up there. How do they not see me? Should I jump off? Can't jump off, I gotta go this way. <laughs> Convenient pole That's placement. The end's not much further. But stay on your toes. Chocobo farm. He'd be happy to help you. I would be happy to go to that Chocobo farm. Take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. What does that mean? Turns the items into money? Why are you doing this? Could have just turned this in. Or into other materials, he said. I can't remember. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, we better get going. This definitely didn't happen in the original game, right? Like Shinra didn't invade Calm. That I can remember. Maybe they did, I don't remember. From the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items like consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. Eh. Um I don't need the tutorial, but I will check it out right now. Got more shit to do. I also gotta check out upgrading weapons. Hmm, I can't upgrade it right now. 
I think it upgraded before when I skipped the tutorial. Um, item transmuter. How does this work? It says no. Oh, I need these materials on the right. Interesting. Oh, I can do this one. 10 transmuter XP gained. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm turning raw materials into these materials. Okay. Cool. Cool, man. I think that was in the last game, wasn't it? I don't remember, but it seems familiar. Yo, Tifa, am I still on your shit list? She, has, she doesn't know about the date, does she? She seems happy. Sorry, we're late. Oh, not anymore. Where the hell have you two been? On a date? On a date, kind of. What? Uh, <laughs> well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Tifa gonna kick your ass, Aerith. The, the love triangle thing is so ridiculous. It's actually insane. I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't gone on the date. It's like you got to play the game multiple times so you can see all the different things. Bring it up the rear. Yo, I got your, your rear, Barrett. Let's go. Where to now? I don't know, Raph. This way. Oh. Looks like a job for me. Good job, Barrett. <laughs> hey, is that a treasure chest? You know I love a good treasure chest, right? Three sprigs of laurel. Should be whispering. So quiet. Okay. Let's go. Get the heck out of here, man. All right. Open the door. Should be quiet, though. Oh, yeah, dude. This is Just what I'm talking it's about. So green. It's gorgeous. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way. Music. But in reality... It's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, go left, go left, right. What's up, guys? I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. I still don't know how they can't see us, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go. Hell yeah, boy. Adjust your battle party from the combat settings screen. Three preset parties to swap between. 
press the thing to open the map. Story markers. You can place pins with R3. Head to the Chocobo farm. Nobody seems to be that happy with me. They all have blank faces. Okay, these are my preset parties here. Aerith, Tifa, Barrett, Red 13. Red 13, Aerith. Um, hmm. You know, I don't know what party I want to use. Let me go to the menu and go to party. How do I, how do I change the part, like the preset parties? I didn't, I don't see an option for that. I don't know if it'll let me change the preset parties or not. I think there should be a way, but I don't see it anywhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put my head, cause I haven't, obviously I haven't edited the video yet. No matter where I put my head, it's gonna block information somewhere. So, damn. <laughs> what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna be exploring for a while, so. What's this? The door is locked. Oh my god, look at the box on Aerith's ass. <laughs> I'll save you, Aerith. I'll save you from that perverted box. Alright, here we go. Woohoo! game does look beautiful. Not gonna lie. Looks really nice. And uh, the music speaks for itself. Where am I? Oh, I'm out here. It still shows me the map for that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see anything on the map for this area, so... I guess I'm just gonna run around and see what happens. Where are the monsters at? It's so peaceful. God, the music, man. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Can you fall from any height? Seems like you can. Wait, what is this? Oh, shit. Materials. Yeah. Oh, yellow. Hard to come by. Oh, take note of the symbol. Gotcha. Locked? Are you kidding me, dude? Locked. Wanted to go in there. It looked very enticing. Thorin's card shop. Oh, I found some enemies. I'm gonna try to get the drop on them, though. It's gonna be hard, though. They're looking like every direction. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. Got it! Nice. What's up? Firework blade. Can't use it yet. It's on you. Red 13 can deftly take down enemies with his razor sharp claws and fangs. Hold, press square to swipe at foes or hold it down to unleash a whirling slash. Successfully guarding against attacks fills the vengeance gauge which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance mode, increasing Red 13's attack power and dodge speed. 
sick. Yo, let's fucking go, Red. Bitch. Yeah. Fuck him up. That's what I'm talking about. Right back to the most peaceful music ever. I will seriously be playing this game for like four months. <laughs> That's probably how long it'll take me to, to do everything, especially like all the exploring that I do. Can I go here? Yeah, there we go. Can't go there. Can I go anywhere else? Or am I stuck here? I don't see a way up. So, maybe this doesn't do anything. Don't see anything. Oh shit, now I'm stuck. Oh god, now I'm swimming. Oh my god. Oh my sweet goodness gracious. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I could go swimming down the lake. Down the waterfall to the ocean. <laughs> that may not pan out too well. Something over here. Definitely gotta check this out. Oh shit. Didn't get the first strike on that one. When an enemy is about to use an attack that cannot be guarded, the exclamation symbol will appear. Take evasive action. Yo, I got it. Staggered. I know about stagger. I forgot how to use vengeance mode. Wait, did I do it? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know what the fuck that move was, but it was crazy. I want to make Red 13 the party leader. <laughs> Freaking love that guy. What is this? I don't know. What is going on here? There's a funny little guy right there. Can I talk to him? What's up, man? Can't even hit him. Hmm. A Moogle medal. That's a key item, so... Looks like it was worth coming up here. Oh, there's a bench. I love a good bench. So nice and cozy. Use a cushion. Oh, you have to use a cushion. That's what the cushions are. <laughs> yeah, that, that little cushion definitely makes the difference when resting on this bench. Loveless. Oh, wow. Loveless right there. And then air. Music gallery. Get him! Really? I got the first strike on that? 
No way. That's crazy. I'll show you what I can do. Get him. Get him. There's a lot going on in combat in this game. You have to manage three characters. You know what I mean? Like, that's some crazy shit right there. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check the map. So I'm here, we came from here. Okay. That's the Chocobo farm right there. I'm assuming. Whoa, the map, dude. Holy shit. Okay, let's go. This is like a whole nother area over there. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Can't wait to hear that Chocobo farm music. Oh, this is not the right way. This way. A manifestation of the planet's blessing. Whoa, big boy. Use assess on an, an enemy to reveal its elemental weakness. I didn't get the. I didn't get the um. First strike on that guy. I'm coming. Holy shit! Does she have uh, assess? I can't remember. No. Who has assess? I don't remember. None of these guys. I used bio on him, but it didn't do shit. How do I switch to like a completely different person? Like Barrett or Tifa? I don't know if you can switch completely different people once you're already in combat. Doesn't seem like it. All right, that dude's dead. Let's thunder his buddy. Didn't seem particularly effective. To use Firework Blade, what do I need? Cloud to be a two and Aerith to be, to be a one. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. He's about to die. Sup, bitch? Mm. Okay, well, I didn't know his weakness. But he died nonetheless. Da -na -na -na. Is this the Chocobo farm right here? I see cows. Those aren't Chocobos. Boo. Boo your cow, boo. What's up, buddy? You be the avalanche, folks. What it's about okay. it? I'm on your side. It's okay. You're heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Not a bad idea, bud. What is this? Customize folios. Oh, right, right, right. So, do I have, well, how many points do I have? Oh, I have five. Punisher damage, wind magic without expending MP, strength and wind materia, ranged blade, perform a ranged attack with your partner. Oh, that's cool. 
Hmm. Oh, we get the stat boost. Give me the stat boost. Red 13, wild charge. Team up with your partner to charge forward. Barrett sends red 13 flying. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds epic. Wait, I have to use red 13 and Barrett though for that? This one you can use with anybody. We'll try that one. Wind current. Strength and wind materia. Max HP up. Shit, dude. Why not? Aerith has some shit here, too. Ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. Stuff sounds cool, but you have to use those specific combinations of people. Max MP plus three. Nice, man. Nice. Barrett, what do you got? Strong defense. Or a move with Red 13. Another? Those guys are like homies. They got hella moves together. Fire. Yeah, that's good. I have fire on Barrett anyways. How'd they know? Tifa. Tifa, team up to do a jumping attack or... Team up with Cloud for Synchro Cyclone. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll try that one. Oh, wait, I don't have Tifa and Cloud in a party. Damn it. Ice. That's good for Tifa, too. We'll do this one, though. All right, that's everybody. But I still haven't figured out how to customize my parties. You know what I mean? It seems like I have to use the presets that they gave me. I don't get it. Am I missing something here? Combat settings? Oh, here it is, dude. That's kind of confusing that it's in a different area. Okay. We're going to do... I'm going to try Red 13, Tifa, and Cloud for my party right now. We'll do another one with Barrett and Red 13, and then another with Tifa and Aerith. Yep, that sounds good. Then I can get those combo moves and start messing around with them. Oh, and you can set anybody as your leader too. So if you don't want Cloud to be the lead, Red 13. Tempting, tempting. <laughs> I may do that, we'll see. Wow, this place is humongous. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? I want to hear the uh, the music. I remember the um, the farm had really cool music in the original game. Damn, this place is big. Where are the chocobos? Is this not the chocobo farm? This must not be it. Windmill set settlement. Oh, hold on, hold on. Abandoned dock over there. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely not the Chocobo farm. Whoa. Fucking jumping all over everything. All right. Well, I don't know if there's anything else to do in here. So I guess we'll head back, or head to the next place.
It's Oliver's farm, but not the Chocobo farm. What a disappointment. Dude doesn't even have any chocobos. He only has cows. I can see those in real life. Oh, it goes right through you. It looks like Cloud's taking a piss. Hold on. If you get the angle right. If you get the angle right. I pushed him. Come on. Let me get it. Come on, let me get it. there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, these ones don't require a cushion. Only the ones in the field. Gotcha. Don't. I'm gonna fight these guys again. Got the first strike. We need three on both characters for Synchro Cyclone? How do you even get three? I thought two was the max. Yeah, two is the max. How do you go above two? I don't think bio is very good. Sentinel stance, what does that even do? I don't even remember. Oh, guard against attack. Greatly increase vengeance gauge. Oh, ice is good against him. That's what's up. All right, I'm gonna ahead and uh, just beeline for the objective, I guess. Except I do see a guy in a car here. So obviously I have to check this out. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Bill. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. What about me? I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. Me being the Cloud. Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh, <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. You'll just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. What the hell are you Your talking about, Bill? You there. Bill, dude, Bill, what the? F <laughs> Swing by the ranch once you're done with. <laughs> He's like, oh, you need you need something a little bit private. I, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The fuck? That's crazy. There's so much to explore though. Maybe I shouldn't go straight to the to the next area. There's so much. There's like a whole thing over here. I mean, I guess I could check that out later. There's really no. I don't have to explore every nook and cranny yet, do I? It'll be nice once I get a chocobo too, then I'll really be able to get some work done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he got me. I don't know how to tell when that guy's attacking.
Oh, blocked it somehow. That was crazy. Ah, I tried to, to, to parry that one, but I failed. It's kind of overwhelming because there's so many characters to control and they all, they all have such... You can do so much stuff with everybody. Huh? What the fuck? I didn't even see that thing. Ow. Bitch. Yeah, boy. There's stuff everywhere, man. I'm never going to get where I'm going. Like, look at this. This looks like an entire little area here. Obviously, I got to check it out. Anything crazy in here? Treasure chest, perhaps? A little hidden treasure chest, maybe? A little something, something? A little something, something, maybe? Huh? Huh? No? Okay, okay. I see some monsters over there, but I've already fought those guys many times, so... I feel like it would be really easy to miss a treasure chest. Is this the, uh, the marsh with the snake? Or is this, is this like a completely different thing? No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. That's him. But even if you're slow, you can wrench a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. Remember the so snake fill the word and he'll pick you out. Was like nearly impossible in the original. <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> Dude, I want to fuck that snake up. I want to fight him. He's like impossibly hard. Ah, oh, you literally can't do it unless you get a chocobo. Where's the snake? Shouldn't swim this far. It won't let you. Damn. So they took out the ability to go through there without a chocobo. Well. This must be the actual chocobo farm. Yes, yes, yes. I got bamboozled by that other stupid farm. I was so disappointed. I was like, what is what is this? What is this? It's garbage. Look at all these items, you guys. 
All right, we definitely got to go check out the chocobo farm. I wonder if we can start like raising chocobos and stuff already. I loved breeding chocobos in the original game. Super freaking fun. How did I get the first strike? That was pathetic. Oh no! Save him! I still haven't figured out how to use red 13s. Keep it together. Vengeance mode. You have to do a bunch of stuff. Oh, there it is. Holy shit, dude. Red 13 is a baller. That's dope. I really want to make red 13 the party leader. <laughs> I'm very tempted to do so. I've been playing for a while, like two hours maybe. Time flies when you're having fun, am I right? Yeah, fuck him up, Red. This is so refreshing compared to, like, the first game when you're in Midgar and everything is dark and industrial. So to start off this game in the wide open world... Yo, we made it to the real Chocobo Ranch. Yes. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but wow. you don't need convincing. You just wow. need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. There's probably lots of things you can do around here. You know what I'm saying? There's the music. Da 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 da. I've always loved the music in the Chocobo Farm. Howdy. So good. It's on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. What? Pops? Pops? Got no more birds. Pops? This morning. I like how he was offended by Pops. These are spoken for. That or he didn't even care about that they were out of chocobos. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. 
The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Or we could just kill you and take all the chocobos. Only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so we have a grand. Our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, Pops. and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, Riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! I don't promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. God, the Maybe music. Bro, the, the music. Right. Jesus. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. Every no pressure, song in this game. Like every song on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Yo, sounds good, Chloe. Wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Hmm. Wow, you can deck out your chocobo. That's cool. Um, I already got all this stuff, so cool. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. I'm stealing all your shit. A timeless rod. Wow. Would you look at that? Dumb. Oh, there's a treasure up here, you guys. Are you serious? A Moogle medal. I don't even know what those do. Timeless rod. Hell yeah, man. I know that the, the weapons in this game... It's not like most RPGs where you find a weapon and it's just stronger and you use it. It's like in this game, the weapons have very different purposes. And you might find a new weapon, but it might not be like any good for you. Like sometimes with Cloud, you'll find a sword that's really good for magic, but if you're not really doing magic with cloud you might not want to use it All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try what did he say peacoat opinion or oriate pinion the fuck is that oops shit Chocobo feather guilt for decorative purposes. Speed plus 10. Oh shit, that could be good. 
Uh, I'll, uh, I feel like Tifa should have power, but speed plus 10 is pretty good too. I'll try it. Screw it, man. Let's give it a shot. Where's the chocobo? How do I know where the chocobo is? I said I gotta find him, right? Um... Shit, well, I gotta find, um, Pico, right? He's not on the map, though. Oh, follow the chocobo tracks. I don't see any chocobo tracks. Am I blind? I don't see shit. I don't see fucking shit, you guys. Fuck that shit up. Chakra level up. All right, hold on. Where are the tracks? I gotta, I gotta backtrack. Cause I never saw the tracks to begin with. Oh, oh, wait. Here they are. Wait. Isn't that them right there? Oh, this way. Gotta go wrangle the chocobo. Good thing he walked in the dirt, or I would not have seen those tracks. Bingo. There he is. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Shh. Oh, there's hella chocobos. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? Yeah, man. You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. My bad. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted, press circle to roll out of sight. You can distract the chocobos by, by throwing stones. L1 to aim, square to throw. Can you not capture this one? I'm confused. What? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wait, how do I retry? Hit triangle, it didn't work. Oh, you have to hold triangle? I see. So I guess you can't capture the other ones. I was trying to capture this one. Freaking ridiculous. How do I pick up a stone? I need to find a stone. Do you guys see a stone anywhere? I don't see shit. Can I walk past him? You see nothing? Stupid chocobo. I haven't been able to find any stones. Good thing I blend in. You know, yellow hair and all. There's Pico. Hey. 
Got him. What's up, buddy? Hey, we got him. What about Red 13? Does he ride chocobos? How would that look? Cloud, you getting jealous? You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> That's funny. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Whoa. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Wait, can I have him? Where are you going? What well, good holy shit. Well, I guess he's going back to the ranch, so did he understand what we said? That there was food at the ranch? Because he got all excited and ran back. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Can the chocobo understand us? Apparently. I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him this. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? I gotta spend my Maybe golden plumes. You enough for bringing Pico back to us. Ooh. Ooh. Breastplate. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good buy, but I bought it anyways. What you gonna do? Oh God, Chadley! Forgot about this kid. You do remember me, don't you? Nope. Nope. I knew you would. I'm being nice to everybody. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. I think I went to one of those and before. This will activate it. 
But I couldn't do anything with it. The Chad module. As the towers close by, allow me to accompany you. That's a powerful name. Choka Boutique. Yeah, I remember seeing one of these, I think. of fiends and natural resources. Sick, dude. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by Fuck completing yeah, Chadley. tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Mm, nope, I'm good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Fire and ice? What? Autocast? That's sick too. What the fuck? Morph? Turn enemies into items? Auto unique ability? Dude, these are sick. These are great materia. How many data points do I have? 10? I like both of these. Man. I like that one. I like them all, dude. I was tempted to get morph. Shit. I wish you all the best That's some good shit, man. Lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Damn, man. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs. Complete these challenges earn a variety of rewards. Shit, we got a combat simulator too. Alright, I'm giving Tifa the uh the new material we just got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's some good shit. Oh yeah. Summon entity Titan. I have recreated Titan. I encourage you to Dude, I can fight Titan already. So that <laughs> Fuck yeah. Seems a little scary. Like he might be a little bit out of my league. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them. Oh, there's a bunch of them, dude. Oh shit. Okay, we'll do this one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go. Here we go. I wonder how hard this guy is. He's big. That's for freaking sure. Ow, I tried to dodge, damn it. I tried to freaking dodge it. I'm trying to parry him, rather. Maybe I'm getting greedy trying to parry. That might be a little too much. Chakra! Heal it up, boy! Nice dodge. I think I still took damage there. 
Oh, he's stomping and shit. Oh god, I'm getting killed. Tifa just got fucked. Red 13 just got fucked. Oh my god. This is crazy. I'm getting fucked up. Yeah, I might have I might have been right about being him being out of my league. Holy shit. Damn. 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 He keeps getting me with that AOE on the stomp. How can I bring him back? I don't think I can, right? Got caught. We gotta switch it out. Hope is not here first. Oh, how that shit gonna miss? So I got absolutely and utterly demolished. I dealt like no damage to him. We'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. There's a lot of other missions I can do. Endless replayability is the simulator's we'll be back for those. I look forward to we will be back for those. That's something I might do off camera. That's like the only thing I might consider doing off camera is that kind of stuff. The boring training stuff, not the big fights, but the like smaller fights. Phenomenon intel. Another tower. Moogle. Fiend. Expedition. Yeah, there's the tower that I was at before. We also have a chocobo now, which means I might be able to fight the snake. But after that Titan fight, I don't know if I'm up for it. I'm a little bit scared. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Press R1 to blow your choco whistle. Okay. So, who here's never been on Chocobat? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Can we do uh, mini games and shit? What's this? Oh. 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 Deck out your chocobo. Okay. Yo, where we going, dude? Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're yes. a big deal in our community. Cannot wait for the gold we'll find saucer. A around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're going to get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay. Use the training grounds to get the hang of Chocobac riding. R2 to dash. Circle to jump. Fuck yeah, man. Hustle day, Chocobo. What? I didn't get that?
I guess you have to actually physically touch it. Or maybe I was just outside of the, the circle. Dude, I cannot wait for Chocobo Racing at the Gold Saucer. Oh, come on. That's BS, bro. It's hard to get it just right so that you don't hit the pole, but also get the... Um, damn, I missed uh, the target time by less than one second. That's embarrassing. Not terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. Come on, man. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. People the world over are willing to pay top deal for Cloud's hand for higher services. Side quests. Certain settlements have a notice board. Okay. Fast travel. You can warp to any unlocked waypoints. Oh shit. That's nice. Tracks yours if you need it. Hopefully the side quests don't suck. Final Fantasy 16, one of the things I didn't like about it was the side quests. And I liked I liked that game a lot, but the side quests were kind of shit. Games always fill their shit up with, like, way too many shitty side quests. I'm definitely not a fan of that. Whoa, I tried jumping, and he, like, freaked out. How'd we do? Second place. Dun 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 dun. Got nothing left to teach you anymore. I didn't get first. Clearly, there's a little bit left to teach me. I feel like I started slow. As long as I don't run into a pole, I should get first, like automatically. Damn it. Stupid pull, bitch. It is hard not to, it's hard to get the thing, but not hit the pull. There we go. That's the one I kept hitting. All right, there it is. Got nothing left to teach you anymore. Dope. All right, now I agree you have nothing left to teach me. Reduce damage taken while not actively controlled. That seems really good. Hmm. Who would I give it to, though? Barrett, I guess. I don't even use Barrett. Not right now. I like Barrett, though. Wait, does Cloud have elite HP? Oh, 1357. Damn. 
sad. I really need to stop playing, you guys. Whoa, my one chocobo turned into three chocobos. Oh my god. All right, we're going to go check out random shit. I got a chocobo. Well, we got to run around with the chocobo before I stop. Get up there, you freaking ass. I don't think you can jump whenever you're going fast. Oh, wait, will he not go? Shit. Oh, he can't go that way, you guys. I gotta go around. That is some choppy riding. <laughs> For real. Something right over here. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Freaky. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Surveying life springs grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Following a spring seeker owl will lead you to a life spring. Could that be a life stream? <laughs> oh, this music. Wow, interactive, you guys. Oh my god. Well, I got 10 data points. So I think I can make more materia. Wow, you can learn about the ecology of the area. Oh my god. Well, that's pretty crazy. Chadley looks exactly like uh, Hope from Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> Holy shit. The chocobo running is insane. There's something over here. Ah, oh, I can't jump that. Damn it. I gotta go around, I think. Oops, shit. No, bitch, get on the damn choke of a bitch. Special enemy? Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call I can't see because of the damn buster sword. Me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby to procure the biological data that we require. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. How is she going to help me? My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Rare Toxarad variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when 
threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. Holy shit, that is battle music, you guys. I am definitely not listening to... to my talking. Not even a little bit. Dagger an enemy, avoid being poisoned, pressure an enemy. Oh, shit. Wow, I guess that's what they were talking to me about. I'm not gonna worry about all that. That's interesting, though. They have objectives for these battles. That's crazy. I wonder what this is. Phenomenon. Phenomenon intel. That's pretty crazy. Man, you know what? I'll try it again. I'll try one more time to get all the objectives. How do you pressure an enemy? I can't remember. Usually I feel like it just happens automatically when I'm beating the shit out of them. I got poisoned already. So fast. How do you pressure an enemy? I don't even know. I don't remember. I'm just gonna use a lot of crazy ass moves and hope it works. Hmm. Anything that, any moves that particularly pressure better? Yeah, I don't remember how to pressure. I definitely do not remember how to pressure. Beat that ass. I didn't get it. I don't know how to do it. I don't remember how to pressure enemies. Is that exploiting a weakness? Is that what pressuring is? Hmm. Whatever. I'll figure it out eventually. All right, I want to go check out that phenomenon. Oh shit, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So nice having chocobos. This is fucking crazy. Is it up there on that hill? These tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. Oh. I didn't even see you. The chocobo stop is now in working order. That means I can warp to this location now. That's huge. I gotta waste a cushion while well, I have nine, so I guess it's fine. Dude, it looks like in a, uh, like an oven mitt. What do they call those? Those little things you use to grab hot stuff out of the oven? That, that Cushion has no cushion at all. Ah, uh, there's a beach down there. Nothing on the map though. What happened to the map? How come I don't see the map anymore? On in the top right, I thought the map was there before, but maybe it's not in the overworld. Guidestones. 
Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Dude, I'm never gonna leave the starting area. This is ridiculous. Alright, we're coming up on the Phenomenon location. Cloud, the Proto Relic should be somewhere in your vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Front door's locked. Aha. My God, I forgot about these guys. Sure, they did find it. Hand it over. Now. Ah, you really think that's enough to intimidate the likes, sir? No, please, it's all yours. It's so hard to get it. Play dead! Play dead! What do you want? Oh, so we're freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a full Num -nuts. plan. Jesus. Ow, bitch. Ice go? I didn't even see it. He's beating the shit out of Tifa. Holy shit. I pressured him. I don't know how I did that. Damn, Tifa almost died straight up. Fucked him up. Beat that ass. Wow. My readings indicate the proto relic is on the move. Would you mind updating me on the situation? Bandits 
speed us to it. Another 10 data points. I got to go back and get all those materials, baby. Damn, there's a part two. Oh, he is way over there. Holy shit, you guys. Holy moly, man. So we've got couple things here that guy ran way the fuck over there so we gotta chase him all over the place oh let me try my fast warping so can I warp here how will you travel walk or chocobo um I would like to go very fast I don't understand if it's fast travel why does it matter Oh, it's like, do you want to spawn on your chocobo, or do you want to not spawn on your chocobo? I guess I don't know. That's weird. Cloud, have you spotted any rabbits? From what I've no. observed thus far, so if you spot a burrow, you may want to dig it. Who knows what sort of things you might dig find. up a burrow with a chocobo? All right, I got some shit here, so let me get auto cast, morph, and fire and ice. All dope. If there's any I want revenge on Titan, but I definitely probably can't fight him. <laughs> Not yet, anyways. Hmm, let me see. Let's see, fire and ice. Oh, he has a lot of open slots. My boy, red. If we give... Man, you know what would be good? Aerith with fire and ice and wind and healing <laughs> wait if you auto cast with the linked materia that's right auto heal would be very nice auto yeah auto heal would definitely be nice wait i never equipped oh fire damage up she does have fire so that could work morph turn enemies into items with morph Shit, man. I got a lot of cool shit. I think I got to try using Aerith now. Let me try a new party formation. Let's see. I have Barrett, Red 13, Tifa, Aerith, Red 13. Oh, I got this party formation. We'll try that one. Else I, can do for you. Please let me know. I'm I need to rest. I'm getting my ass kicked. There we go. I'm learning how to do things, you guys. What about this thing? Do I have any new points? Oh, I do. I gotta get some shit, you guys. Hmm. Ranged blade. Wind attack. He doesn't use wind right now, though, so I don't know how useful that is for me. Ice. Max HP by 200. I'll take that. So we could use the HP. Lightning. Aerith uses like everything. So it's like she might as well. Okay, whatever she can get. Wind, lightning. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll get all of them eventually, probably. Fire. Combo move. Bonus. Barret max HP. I feel like I should use Barret more. I mean, dude's got a ranged attack. That's pretty legit. Red 13. We'll get that combo move. I gotta use those Red 13 Barret combos, man. Counter spin potency. All right, got some levels and shit. Um, we're gonna rest. I wanna try fighting Titan again, you guys. 
because I'm a little bit of a psycho. He's going to beat my ass, but you know what? I want to try it one more time. This game is going to take me so long to beat. It's going to take me months. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I can't beat this fucker. You can make him easier. Analyze the summons crystals to face off against weaker versions. <laughs> well, that's not even an option, so... Here we go. Damn, I feel like, damn it. <laughs> I felt like I dodged all that shit, but I still got fucked. So what is Titan weak against elemental wise? I feel like that's really what we're talking about here, isn't it? I'm trying to block and I'm failing miserably, by the way. Whoa. Whoa, chill, dude. Chill. This fucking guy is beating Aerith's ass. Oh my god, beating all of our asses. Jesus. Um, should I blizzard on him? I think it missed. Alright, she's about to die. Mmm, so far nothing really seems to do any good. he grabbed me I saw me dodging that shit dog don't you even dare tell me I didn't dodge that Tifa's dead <laughs> tried to dodge it did not happen look at the damage I'm dealing to this guy there is no damage like what the fuck is this this is ridiculous I'm trying to parry him and that's not working either Damn, she had a limit break too. He killed her. That sucks. There we go. Finally blocked. Tried to parry that one, but it failed. Once you get caught up in the combo, you can't do anything either. It's hard to dodge that one. I was hella close. Pressured? Hmm. Here it comes. All good. How did I pressure him? Whoa! Yeah, now you're in for it. Look at this epic damage, bro. Well, I don't deal enough damage to actually kill this guy, so... There is that. There is that, you guys. Summons fight alongside you for a brief period. They have wills of their own, and you can command them uh, to unleash attacks by expending your party member's ATB gauges. Okay. I'm probably gonna die. 
see. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. How am I still alive? Use the use the lance. That's fucked up. I'm dead. You gotta admit that was a valiant effort, and if I dealt any damage whatsoever, maybe I could have killed him. But obviously this guy's way out of my league. We'll be back for you, Titan. Enjoy your victory while you can. Um, this is probably a good time for me to stop. So, so far... I encourage you to try again sometime. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So far, I love the game, you guys. And I'm looking forward to playing it more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Love y'all. I don't know when the next video for this is going to come out. It could be soon or it could be a while. So, bear with me. I'll see you next time.